Hi guys, it's Jewel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm introducing my next project. This is what the finished project will look like. Uh, this is an envelope journal, um, and it's got several journals in it. So uh, I was inspired to create this by Natasha over at Treasure Books. So I will link her uh, video below. Of course, it doesn't look like this because, um, as you know, we all have our own style, but this was inspired by her. Okay, so let's get in uh, to this so you can see what our next series is. It's a three-part series. I've already taped it, but I wanted you to see the... Um, finished project uh, to refer back to um, as you're creating it. Okay, so you can see here we have a cover. This is made out of a uh, yellow envelope, a big illegal size yellow envelope. Now, um, let me take the sorry tie off and this is gonna kind of pop open. And um, I am going to just show you what this beauty looks like. So the closure is just a simple sorry tie with the key on it. And it is a writing themed journal because I used this paper, uh, which was called The Muse. And you will learn more about that if you watch the series. So I have a popped up image here and I did reinforce the spine with some muslin and some antique style uh, or antique lace here. Now the way this works, and I'm gonna show you uh, real quickly, it flips out like this, and then this flips out. This is a journal, and this is a waterfall journal here, and these are envelope uh, flips, and they're full of goodies. And then on this side, I have a triple envelope full of goodies. And over here is uh, in this large pocket is another, um, another journal. So you can see there are tons of writing room in this. And let me show you from the beginning because I am going to list this in Etsy shop in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, um, this will be in there. Um, soon. I've got two more I still haven't listed in there. Okay, so uh, this little label is just secured by four brads. Now, these are very simple journals because everything you need to journal and decorate your journal are tucked into all these envelopes over here. Okay, so uh, this is another uh, um, uh, waterfall uh, flip up our journaling space here. So you have a lot of room there and then you can write there. And then I just, um, uh, I did most of all of this on camera. So you can follow right along if you want to create your own. And this, I just stamped uh, the word journal here and it's on um, some muslin. And then the journal is quite plain because like I said, everything is in here to decorate it. I just did this uh, antique uh, receipt clipped to the top of the page and added coffee stain variety of different pages in here. So there are several sheets here. Okay, and then I did that beautiful um, uh, cardstock cover on that. Now, um, here we have, as you can see, the journal prompt. And again, this this whole this whole thing flips up. So if you wanted to add a pocket here, you could, or you could journal here or put pictures. So this just, as you can see, it's every page you can write on. And um, then let me flip these first and show you the journal on the inside. And we just decorated the cover together. It's quite simple place to uh, write your name or write journal or whatever, my journey or whatever you want there. And these wonderful um, pieces uh, that of die cuts that or just remind me of writing like if you were uh, making memories of your life like in the early 1900s um so this one is just the same 
papers as the other one, except that there is a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. Okay, so that is in the large pocket. Now, on this side, uh, on these, I've added two tags for you to create on and added just little bits of sorry on that. So this is a large pocket back here, okay? And you will learn how to create this and put this all together um, in the series. And then I've got uh, two ephemera pieces here and then two ephemera pieces here. And so those are tuck spots. And then, um, so you can, and the nice thing about this is once you're finished using your ephemera in your book, then you have tuck spots here for more journaling. Okay, each one of these envelopes has a, a variety of different items in it. This one, I have this little book binder, um, ephemera here, antique advertisement. We have a couple of sticker stamps and then some little pieces of antique die cuts. This is a old um, uh, camera and then another label, a larger label. So those are just tucked in that first envelope. Okay, and then the second envelope, and you can see I have a little embellishment on each envelope. We did that together. What I have done is, uh, here's an envelope. It is sealed, so what you would do is just clip the side and put your notes in whatever you want, and you, and you can make it into a little pocket in your journal or whatever, so it's just a... It's just a little envelope in an envelope. And then in here, uh, this is a coffee stain, a little mini glassine bag. I've just added some antique uh, or vintage uh, stamps, mailing stamps, and then a couple of the mini uh, Tim Holtz um, paper clips. So uh, for you to you know, use in your journals. So, and then the glassine bag, of course, you can recycle that somewhere in there. And then that's in the second pocket. Okay, and then the third pocket I have, and I don't think I can even get them all out. I have a whole bunch of little die cuts, antique style die cuts. I know there's the cutest little clock in here. And actually I would have to take like a bone folder to get them out. I just have them in there. So there's a few more down in there and um, whoever is the recipient of this will see what they are. Um, I just have this beautiful, uh, this was this book page I, I framed and put it on this side of the envelope and I covered it with Mod Podge because it was from the mid 1800s from the book Lucille. So um, it, it would uh, wear with the time, it would be protected. Okay, so we'll start with, of the three, what I have in the large envelope. I did some script stamping and things on there. These are all well hinged uh, with washi tape that's been reinforced with good glue. So um, in this, I've got a stack of items. And then the, again, the nice thing is once you use these in your journal, you have all this room to make more notes as you fill your journal up and add them in there. So I have some old um, facsimiles of uh, letters or envelopes. Okay, so there's several of those. This is a old receipt and then another old receipt here. So that's in there. And so these are blank on the back for journaling on. Another tag for you to do whatever you want with it. I did add this for you to make a booklet out of. It was an off cut and I'm gonna put this aside because I have a stack of off cuts over here that I will include in the package with this. And these are Velcroed. Okay, in this cute little book see the books uh die cut pocket i have this antique fan and this beautiful uh, die cut that goes with the paper that you can put on anywhere you want you know glue it down or 
whatever or leave it in there and then um, on this in this pocket again it's velcroed I've got some more um, ephemera okay all antique style well, I love all the writing all the you know script and so that's in there so you can see the whole theme with the script all the way throughout in this pocket we have this little bundle of paper die cut a little journaling card and another little journaling card okay and then in this pocket I have a wax seal and did a little lace and this one again is full of the cutest die cuts that go with this paper line let me see yeah okay so we have a vintage typewriter another little journaling card these are all to be written on or you can glue them down make little pockets or some books uh, we've got this little quote, we are writers, my love, we don't cry, we bleed on paper. Another small, um, uh, the floral of the, in the vase, flowers in the vase. And then these two belly band, a uh, little mini belly bands. And this is a little, it says, breathe, darling. This is just a chapter. It's not your whole story. So I thought that was fun to use in your journal and i think that's it and there again you can see behind here is some more of that beautiful scrapbook paper and let me just show you again the front and the back and then this just folds up and here's the back so you can see how beautiful that paper is beautiful designer paper and i believe it was the minte line all of the uh, uh, things i used will be in the description box under all three parts and um under this okay guys i hope you come back and join me for the three-part series on how to create one of these a uh, fun envelope journals um the series okay thanks for watching and have a blessed day Bye bye